Hi there, welcome to this week's photo class. My name is Pam Crankham. I am a commercial photographer and I teach small business owners how to take their own product photos for their business. So today we are in the middle of November right now at the time of recording this. Um, so now is a great time to have all your Christmas content ready. Um, usually when I've worked with other businesses in the past, we start building the Christmas content, uh, August, September, finalizing it for November. So then it's ready to go for November and December when the big holiday push happens. Um, but if you are not there yet, no worries. You still have time. Um, because especially when it comes to the holiday season, it ain't over until it's over. So what we're going to be looking at today is going to be a little bit different from the other composition classes we've done in the past. So I'm going to keep these ones holiday centric. Um, we'll be doing some of that content going forwards. But for this week, we're going to look at four different hero images um, that I think would be really, really easy to create at home. And these photos again are from Pinterest. So yes, they are using professional lighting and things like that, but I'll show you how you can do it. Um, with just like window lighting. Um, and I'll leave some links down below of some freebies you can grab that'll help you set up a home studio of your own. So let's get going. Okay. So now that you can see my screen, we are looking at this holiday candle. It's super simple. So what it is, is it's a photo of a candle right in the dead center, um, which creates a hero image. Um, if you don't know what a hero image is, I will put the link down below to the blog post where I talk about hero images, um, as well as the video as to why they're important, what they mean for your business, and why they're so eye-catching. Um, for this photo, the candle's right in the middle. It's sitting on seamless paper, and the light is coming from the right-hand side. It is a really, really simple photo, and without the greenery around it, it's just like a really nice, clean stock photo. But what the little touch of greenery does, because we don't usually see the type of greenery until it's the holiday season, is we immediately start associating um, this candle and this photo with the holiday season. So an easy way to do this is to set up a set up like a product photo station if you're at home or at your business um, close to a window so like for me you can see it's quite dark um, but if it was daylight having this window and I could set up a seamless backdrop over there whether it's just like a piece of poster board or what have you and just tape it to the wall and tape it to my table and then put the candle on there and take that photo. And then one way where you can start to ink see how like they've incorporated this greenery is you can have um, maybe an assistant or if you have your phone set up on a tripod or your camera set up on a tripod you can hold the branches yourself but sometimes for a photo like this it's a little bit easier to have someone help you out um, and essentially if your candle is here and you are here you are putting the greenery on both sides of it um, in order to create that frame within a frame so this is a really really simple way to create a holiday photo make sure or it looks really really clean um there's not a lot of distraction and it's really easy to also create this as like a standalone product photo that you can use all year round because essentially you've set it up already and all you need to do is take the green over your way so this could be a really great image where uh you can actually do double duty with it okay so next one we're gonna look at this perfume. Um, this is a really simple one that I really like to use all year round. Um, but here we have some of the holiday touches I always find with like the greenery. When you start bringing in like um, greenery that, you know, is usually associated with the Christmas season, that's when that starts to be brought to mind. Um, but this scent is, um, I'm not I don't know much about this scent, but as you can see just from the label, it does say it's part of their holiday collection. Again, it's a hero image because it's right dead center. That's what we're focusing on. Um, and that greenery is creating this nice diagonal line to draw your eye from the left-hand side through the photo to the perfume itself. But then it's surrounded by notes that I believe, I'm not sure if those are raisins, but there's cinnamon and maybe raisins or a currant or something like that. Um, so those warm 
scents and things like that. So that's like a really nice way I usually find when it comes to products that may have a scent associated with it, whether it is a food product that you have um, or a candle, perfume, things like that. Um, incorporating scents or sorry, incorporating the notes of that scent or that flavor profile that people associate is a really good way to add texture and detail with to your image and still have it be be relevant. So this is one way that I also like doing it for the Christmas or holiday season. Um, and that little touch of greenery is for me usually what sets off, what sets that off. So before I move on, I was just gonna say how you can recreate this yourself. So one thing that you can do, this light is coming uh, instead of from like a true like side light, it's more diagonally coming from the right hand side. So again, you can set it up closer to a window uh, or maybe depending on where you live, um, if you have access to a south facing window or even working outside if the temperature allows at this time of year, because it is quite cold where I am, um, you know, being able to have that light shining at a 45 degree angle, hitting the products that way. Um, how you can create this white background is you can have two pieces of foam core, uh, one as like the background and one as like the floor is what I like to call it. Putting those two together and then setting up your little, your little scene. And then again, if you have those notes or food or any of those things that are associated with your uh, product, Go ahead, place those in, and a little touch of greenery behind it, and then you're off to the races. Okay, so this one's a really fun one. I really like this one. Um, so what we have here is a product. It's a women's multivitamin, and a product like this is not inherently a holiday product, right? It's something that people want to use all year round, but we want to get people into the, okay, like maybe I want to buy this for someone as a gift or something like that, or gift it to themselves. Um, this is a really cute and fun way that's like really whimsical. And I like stuff like this because this is um, what you can find in some of my work is some of that more fun, playful um, element to it. But what they've done here is it's on a seamless paper background and they've created this pile of fake snow and stuff like this is really nice because they're able to just put, place the product in and it doesn't sink or anything like that and they've added some bottle brush trees and the kicker for me here that really pulls in the holiday feel is the little Santa Claus and his sleigh and his reindeer kind of going through beside the product, which I think is like a fantastic way of doing this. So you could create something like this with the fake snow. Um, and if you don't have access to seamless paper, you could always use a piece of poster board from uh, the dollar store or even like a wall. Um, maybe not a dark blue like this, but if you had a white colored wall or a fun colored wall, you could do that if it goes with your product. Um, but I think one of the things here that strikes me as really, really fun is because this is something it'll catch your eye right away because it's not something that you would normally associate with this product. Um, so if you're someone who follows this brand or a company like it, you might scroll, 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 see it all the time. So when they do something fun and different like this, it's, it's usually a bit more eye catching. So, um, yeah, you can totally do this with like a fake snow. Another thought I had, um, which does make it a bit more fiddly because, um, you are trying to like add things like the trees and the little ornaments in there and they need to stay in place and something like this, they just sink in. Um, you could try like with a blanket, I would try with like a velvety blanket to kind of get that same texture. But obviously then things will be a little bit more wobbly and harder to place on there. But yeah, this one's just a really, really fun one. And I just wanted to show you um, different directions that you can take it. And the nice thing about all these things, um, depending on how you celebrate, and the things that you use for the holidays, I always recommend using what you have at home first or around. So if you have these things, great, try out this concept, but try out the easy ones first before you go ahead and purchase anything else um, because then you're left with all this product. So for me, when I'm creating content right now, showing people different ways to style their products for the holiday, I'm just using the stuff that I already have available to me. So I'm not going out and buying all these different things that maybe I'm not gonna be using otherwise. So just a thought as you start, and then if you feel like, you know what, I keep gravitating towards this concept and I wanna go for it, then go ahead and purchase it because then you know you're gonna probably be using it over and over again. 
Okay. And so this last one, so when it comes to products like knitwear, clothing, things like that, it sometimes can be difficult to figure out how to style it for a product photo because a lot of the times when people um, are looking at clothing, they want to see it on a person. So then they know how it's going to drape, how it's going to fit, those kinds of things. But one fun way that you could stack some of your wares, if you have any fabric or textiles and stuff like that, is to stack them like how these sweaters or scarves are stacked. And just something super simple is adding those little twinkle lights. Because again, we're associating the twinkle lights with uh, wintertime, holidays, things like that. So I like using things like the twinkle lights and effects like that during this time of year, because I find that's when you're going to see the biggest impact. And again, just like the first example where we had the greenery around the candle, it's really easy to use this photo all year round. All you have to do is take the twinkle lights off, take that same photo, and then you essentially have two different versions that you can use, uh, one all year round and one specifically for the holiday season. This one, I believe um, the pile of sweaters are stacked on the ground up against a white wall and there is potentially window light or a strobe kind of like so I have my like a sad light right now on me hitting my face um so a light like this or just like window light coming coming through and then all they've done is strung the garland around turned it on and took the photo so um yeah that is what I have for you today those are four quick and easy ways to kind of get started of like looking at other people's work and figuring out okay, like what are the elements I can bring into it um, to try to do that at home. And one of my biggest things I would say at this time of year, if you're stuck for different photo inspirations, what you can do is I always like hopping on Pinterest, seeing what other people are doing, but also seeing what other people in other industries are doing. Because what I find is if you are able to bring in something different from other industries, um, that is how you stand out. That is how you're going to stand out against your peers because instead of just looking what everyone else is doing and copying them, when you get fresh inspiration from other places, um, you're able to bring in a, a different lens, a different way of looking at things and yeah, people will notice. So, um, I will see you next week for photo class and I think we're going to stick on this holiday train for a little bit longer as we get ready for the season because it will come fast. Um, but until next time, see you then. Bye.